Uh, hello everyone in this tutorial we'll be looking at a business problem which is related to the uh, zomato data set and uh, let us get started so let me just tell you what uh, step by step what exactly we will be discussing we'll be looking at a, at a business problem and we'll try to build a solution approach then we'll uh, have a look at the data that is available to us then accordingly tweak our solution approach according to the data that we have then in the fifth step we will implement the solution that we've thought of in python and then finally we'll conclude this entire case study so let's get started with the problem definition uh, okay so uh, the problem definition is that uh, zomato wants to promote five dining restaurants on its mobile application and uh, you being an analyst, it is your responsibility to give a list of what uh, uh, restaurants should be promoted. Okay, and what uh, what will happen from that list? Like uh, the list of those restaurants will be shown on the mobile app so that uh, the end users of Zomato, they can click on it to uh, book tables. Okay, uh, so let us try to okay so based on the problem definitions i had some questions that uh like what exactly would be the content that zomato would would promote would it promote specific dishes of the restaurant so the answer is okay zomato wouldn't uh, promote yeah, any uh specific dishes they would promote the interiors in the ambience of the restaurants that's the first question and will total five restaurants be promoted across bangalore or uh, five restaurants for each area okay so it's five restaurants for each area of bangalore so there will be uh, more than five restaurants that we'll recommend okay so let us try to think and let us try to come up with approaches to recommend uh, uh, these uh, list of restaurants okay so i would also advise you to think on your own and see like what solutions that you can come up with uh, so here i've come up with like uh, three different solutions to this problem but the first one is find out the five most revenue generating uh, uh, restaurants and then suggest those and the logic here uh, is that the most revenue generating restaurants would be the most popular so just recommend those then we have restaurants that have high potential so these are the restaurants that have low revenues but they have considerably high ratings which means that uh, they have a lot of potential they haven't been explored as much and if we try to promote these restaurants then then uh, it will it might uh, create high revenue in the long run uh, the final approach that i have is we come up with a combined score uh, okay and uh, considering both revenue and the rating and then we uh, sort of rec use that approach to uh, recommend restaurants Okay, so these restaurants would have a high revenue also they would have a high rating also okay so now let us look at what data is available to us and let us see if any of these approaches fit fits with the data okay so as you can see uh, this data is available to us and i have uh, highlighted uh, the important useful columns here so the important useful columns being uh, okay we have listed in which so which is an area we have location column which is again an area then we have book table which tells us whether uh it's uh, a dining is an option uh in the restaurant or not we have rate we have votes uh, we have the name of the restaurant for identification and we have the cost like what is the cost of two people dining okay so based on this data i have two basic questions that what's the difference between this location and this location listed in city and um, which one should we use to tell about the areas and the another question that i have is which column is used to identify dining restaurants like is it book table or uh, is it rest uh, in listed type is this buffet 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 or dining so these two questions we'll be answering in the analysis that we will be doing in python uh, so uh, now what we need to do is we need to tweak our approach so now uh, we know the problem as well we know the solution that we've come up with and we know the data as well so let's see if any approach fits in the data that we have so all of our approaches they had revenue generated in our uh, solution approach but uh, the available data doesn't have revenue so we might need to tweak our approach so let's see how we've tweaked our approach and what 
can we actually implement and find out so here i'm recommending that we select five most highly rated restaurants uh, uh, across areas uh, that have both above a certain threshold okay so we will uh, we will solely be making a uh, recommendation based on a rating the column rate that is there out of five for this rate column that we have we'll solely be making our recommendations based on this and then there's another uh, addition that i've made that uh, like there should be a minimum number of votes that a, a restaurant must have to call, qualify for a recommendation the only reason i'm doing this addition is because uh, like for example if there's a 4.9 rate uh, rated restaurant with only two votes and then there is a 4.7 uh, average rating restaurant with 1000 votes then this is uh, the restaurant that has the more, more number of votes it's more reliable okay so now the questions that have arised due to the solution approach is uh, how will we define the threshold and what if there are some ties across any restaurants then how do we resolve those okay so now let us uh, try to uh, like uh, jump into python and let us uh, try to answer all the questions and let's try to implement this solution as well so and we'll be uh, discussing the python implementation uh, in the next video thank you everyone for watching